He's been accused of sexually assaulting women over decades. Movie mogul Harvey Weinstein faces allegations of harassment from a New Yorker magazine article. The report claims Weinstein raped three women. Yeah, he has received major backlash from a number of A-list celebrities, including Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie, who say they experience harassment as well. New at 6 tonight, News Channel 5's Kyle Horan talks to a film expert here in Nashville who says unfortunate treatment of women by some men in power is a real problem. And it's getting some local attention as well. Happening this weekend in Franklin is a panel that's going to talk about why does Harvey Weinstein matter? We have three film panels on Saturday. If you ask Nancy Pitts, this is an opportunity. It's a, been a prevailing uh, background conversation, not necessarily about him, but about what people perceived that this industry allowed for and or tolerated. Chance is something taken by many women who want to work in film, attracted by the glitz of the lights, of the adoring crowd. But what many say they found in Harvey Weinstein is not glamorous. I think that though, if you ask 100 women, you've got 95 of them that people have said really inappropriate things to. And the very idea that you can just put them off by saying, I'm not interested, is not true. That's, a, that's, that's pretend. Pitts is the president of Tennessee Women in Film and Media. She knows well of what people without power are sometimes subjected to. This happens in every business. It happens in religious groups. It happens where the people in power and control choose bad behaviors. It's why she's holding a Why Harvey Weinstein Matters panel this weekend at the first Franklin International Independent Film Festival. It focuses on female directors, producers, leaders in the film industry. But the panel is all about ways to handle tough situations, like in the instance of Weinstein. We offer them ways to behave. We teach them about important ways to uh, alleviate that situation or to remove themselves from that and people they can call. And Pitts says, perhaps odd to say, one of the best ways society learns lessons is through film itself. But there has to be that one person who says, if I don't talk, who will? In Franklin, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle. The film festival opens Friday at 530. The panels will be held both Saturday and Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning at Academy Park.